Ukrainian intelligence announces new surprises in Crimea. Civilians should not use the Crimean bridge. New surprises await the enemy, states Kirill Budinov, head of the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine. According to Budinov, we owe the successes of Ukrainian soldiers in Crimea to the inhabitants of the peninsula whose resistance to the enemy has not ceased over the past 10 years of war with Russia. The defense intelligence chief explained that for successful defense and counter-offensive, Ukraine must control the Black Sea and Crimea. All previously set tasks have been accomplished. Russia lost a quarter of its ships and was forced to withdraw its fleet to the Caucasus coast. The enemy has also redeployed its aviation as Crimean airfields and military facilities are constantly under our fire. We owe our success to the residents of Ukrainian Crimea, who not only strengthened their resistance to the occupiers, but also found the opportunity to monitor the entire operational situation on the peninsula and pass this information to us as soon as possible, Budinov added. Ukraine has also fulfilled another promise. In 2023, our special forces officers visited Crimea. New surprises await the enemies, and I would not recommend civilians to use the so-called Crimean Bridge, the head of Ukrainian intelligence said. The Crimean Bridge, illegally built by the occupiers, has been hit at least twice. In October 2022, powerful explosions occurred on the bridge, causing significant damage. The head of the security service of Ukraine, Vasil Maliuk, confirmed that it was an operation of his special service. In addition, in July 2023, there was another attack on the Crimean bridge. Two spans were destroyed. Maliuk also confirmed Ukraine's involvement in this attack and noted that it was organized with the help of Sea Baby drones. Russia may annex another European country. Russian President Vladimir Putin may announce the annexation of the pro-Russian breakaway region of Transnistria, the Institute for the Study of War, ISW, has said. While the Washington think tank said such a possibility was unlikely in the short term, its report describes a continuing hybrid operation by Moscow to destabilize the former Soviet state which borders Ukraine, according to Newsweek. Internationally recognized as part of Moldova, whose European Union aspirations have angered the Kremlin, Transnistria is located between the Dniester River and the Moldovan-Ukrainian border. Moldova has no control over the Russian-speaking region that claimed independence after the collapse of the USSR, sparking an intervention by Moscow. Russian troops remain in the territory. While Transnistria's independence is not recognized by Moscow or the international community, the territory where Russian troops are based remains a useful tool for the Kremlin to stop Moldova from seeking greater ties with the EU and NATO. The ISW said that the Transnistrian Congress of Deputies held a rare meeting in their capital, Tiraspol. During it, they blamed Chisinau for destroying the region's economy and violating the freedoms of population of around half a million. Transnistrian opposition activist Gennady Sioba said that deputies will ask on February the 28th for Moscow to annex Transnistria a day before Putin addresses the Russian Federal Assembly, Moldovan outlet Deshide reported. ISW said it could see Putin in the most dangerous course of action declare Russia's annexation of Transnistria during his planned address, although that appears unlikely. The Russian president will more likely welcome whatever action the Transnistrian Congress of Deputies takes and offer observations on the situation. The ISW said the deputies will likely either initiate a new referendum seeking Moscow's annexation or demand action on ballots held in 2006 unrecognized internationally, one of which backed joining Russia, the ISW said. Putin will likely welcome whatever actions the Congress takes, although he may stop short of acting on a request for immediate annexation. It added, Russia fires 8,000 missiles at Ukraine. Since the beginning of the full-scale invasion in February 2022, the Russian military has fired more than 8,000 ballistic and cruise missiles at Ukrainian territory, Ukrainian Air Force spokesman Yuri Inat told. According to Inat, the figure includes 78 Kinzhal hypersonic missiles, with 25 of them being destroyed by Ukraine's air defenses. There were also 843 caliber sea-launched cruise missiles fired, with 406 successfully intercepted. 
These are very strong indicators that demonstrate the strength of our defense forces, said Inat. Furthermore, since February the 24th, 2022, the enemy has launched 1,513 X-101-X555 Soviet era cruise missiles at Ukraine's territory with 1,176 being shot down. In the winter of 2022 to 2023, Russia used over 1,100 cruise missiles to attack Ukraine's energy infrastructure, hoping to collapse the country's power grid. Their goal last winter was to plunge Ukraine into a blackout, Inat continues. This time, the strategy in targeting has somewhat changed. You can see the targeted facilities, starting from the port infrastructure of the agricultural sector, followed by the oil and gas industry and defense enterprises. Besides missiles, the spokesman said that Moscow used 4,637 Iranian-made Shahed UAVs to strike targets in Ukrainian territory, of which 3,605 were downed by Ukraine's air defenses.